sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? Uh, you can do me for a trip out of here. I don't care if it's on horseback or a helicopter or in a canoe. Just get me out of here. Henry, we have work left to do. Let's chat about what's bothering you and you'll feel better. Are you serious? Let's talk. Okay? Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, all right. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Sure. It's the, uh... No. You don't need to tell me. Just, um, internalize it. it. It's a great tree. And there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Oh. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, maybe I should go for a hike. Nothing like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell ya. Radio me the moment you get there. Hello, hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. And we are here in Firewatch, starting the new day. If you haven't checked out any of the previous episodes, go ahead and click out of this video right now, as much as it pains me to tell you that. And go back and check those out. This is a very story-driven game. Uh, probably one of the most story-driven games I've ever played. So all the stuff you're about to see here coming up uh, won't make sense. So Delilah there on the radio wants us to go to the Cottonwood uh, Glade or something like that, I would imagine. Let's get our map up here. And so we're in two forks. So we're going down to the Cottonwood Creek. So we need to kind of head back to where we were yesterday and take a right instead of a left. So let's hop through the door here. We'll grab our backpack and we're heading out back towards the Flapjack Fire. That last episode, that was a that was a bit of a doozy of an episode. There was quite a lot that happened. Uh, again, if you haven't watched, I'm gonna give you three seconds to click off before I start talking. So three, two, one, hopefully you're off by now. So we got knocked out by a, a mysterious figure, right? And uh, we went to that campsite, got the axe, and then that was kind of the end of the episode because if you remember correctly, our radio started making some weird noises. We heard that coughing, and that's, that's kind of where we ended. Uh, okay, so I need to kind of go down this way a little bit more. Um, we have no clue what's going on. We have no clue if Delilah's friend or foe, or really who's looking out for us at this point in the game, other than hopefully ourselves. Henry here or Hank, depending on who you talk to. Uh, we, who knows what's going out here in the, the deep woods of, I think we're in Wyoming. I'm pretty sure we're in Wyoming. Let's actually follow the trail this time and make sure we go go the correct way that we're supposed to be going here. I think this is the the right way here. Yeah, we're heading the right, right-ish way now. <sighs> Anyways, as we get digging in here into the episode, let me know in the comments on down below what you think is happening, what you think is going to happen. Who's, who's the mysterious person that knocked us out? Who is Delilah friend or foe? Is Henry a good guy? Is Henry telling us everything we need to know? We are not quite sure. Henry could easily be a uh, an unreliable narrator, to, to put it kindly. All right, so we're down here by the creek now. Um, and I think we need, we need to cross. Yeah, we still need to cross first, then go right. So let's go this way. And we're going to go ahead and jump across the rocks, keep our feet nice and dry. Don't want to give Henry any wet boots now. Jump to this next rock here. Almost missed it. All right, there we go. We are across the creek, and I think we got to go up a little bit, and then we'll turn right. So if you remember from the last episode, this is where the fire team, the uh, the hot shots, came in and kind of did a pre-burn just to hopefully prevent the flapjack fire from making it all the way to our tower. So we've taken a right here. Let's just check our map again. Heading down towards Cottonwood Creek. Yep, we are going the right way. Fantastic. Get back into a little run here. Uh, it's already kind of dark out, isn't it? Like, what, two or three hours left of sunlight maybe? I don't know. 
All right, we got a big cottonwood tree right there. So is Delilah luring us into a trap? Does she have something else in mind? Are we going to meet her? I don't know. Let's see what happens here. Here's the big cottonwood tree, a little butterfly over there. Um, map updated. Can I call it in or anything? No. All right, let's, we got a ski here. Um, just a random ski sitting there. So I'd imagine someone was doing a little cross country skiing or something like that and left that behind. All right, let's keep going this way. Very beautiful game. I think I said that a lot in the first episode, just the, the lights and the colors and hopefully you guys are getting that in the recording because this is probably one of the most beautiful games I've ever played. All right, so there was a box around here. Where's the box at? So it's just across this little area. So we are at Cottonwood, and let's go ahead and call uh, it in. Here at Cottonwood Creek. You see the cash box there? We uh, do. It must be around here somewhere. It is. Find it and open it. I changed the code. It's five six seven eight. Five six kidding? seven eight. I was in a rush. Six. Seven. I hear some movement somewhere. All right, so we unlock that box. And we'll copy our map information as always. Get that nice and updated. Perfect. And then there is a, oh, a new radio. Three blind rats. And looks like some cans here. All right, let's pick up the new radio. So we can probably call Delilah without hopefully anyone uh, interfering with us here. I've got it now. Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. <laughs> I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger. <sighs> Hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Knock on wood. Holy fuck, Henry. We have to get into that site. What the fuck is going on? People are listening to us? I don't know. Our radios are tapped? Are you fucking serious? <sighs> Our radios are definitely tapped. That's why I left you the one you just got. How, how, how is this even possible? I don't know, Henry. What do you know? I know that I'm scared. Are there any other lookouts this is happening to? Someone else in on this? Anyone? <sighs> this is just happening to us. Everyone else is fine. Are you sure? Yes. I've tried to bring it up to Chimney Rock, Elk's Fork, and Beartooth Lookout, and every one of them got confused. Asked me if I'm okay and if I need to be relieved. Our fucking state coordinator asked if I was just having lady troubles. So no, this isn't happening to anyone else, and I'm done asking. Uh, let's go. Who's doing? None of it makes any sense. Who is doing this? I don't know who could be doing this. <sighs> Henry, I've been at this job off and on for 13 years. Sometimes here, sometimes over near Jackson, a couple times down in Wind River, and nothing like this has ever happened before. Am I just making all of this up? I mean, the eavesdropping, the spying, is this... Fuck, are you... Are you is any of this real? <laughs> what? Are you serious? Maybe I'm, I'm just... Maybe I'm just losing my mind. What? Like Julia. And maybe it's happening to me, and, and I'm imagining that I have a boss out here and that we're being spied on. Henry. Maybe there was something in the water or our condo was underneath some power lines and and you Delilah you're not real Henry Henry think about her if what happened to her were happening to you you wouldn't even be able to realize it okay Henry sweetie I am real and this is happening I'm as real as the sky is blue take a second and then call me back I'm on your side Wow, that, uh, I mean, he's not wrong. He could be gaslighting himself. Someone else could be gaslighting him. Like, that's, uh, it's a serious thing. Let's just take a second here and look around the, the area. I don't think there's anything to find. I wish we could find what's making that noise. I wonder if it's the fire. Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and call Goli Delilah back here. Okay, I'm all right. I'm, uh, I'm headed towards the site. Good. Keep your head up. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start hiking back towards the Wapa, Wapatami? What was it? Let's see here. Uh, Wapati Station. So since it is quite a bit of a hike, oh, I guess I could have hiked through. I'm going the wrong way. 
let's go this way. We'll explore this new part over here, but once we kind of get back to that original section that we've already explored, I'll go ahead and make a, a quick jump uh, till we hit the next action. That way you guys don't have to see me hiking. I wish that I would have, uh, excuse me, I wish I would have just gone this way to start. I guess I should have paid more attention when I copied that information out of the map there. But while we're heading this way, don't forget to comment on to, down below on anything you want to do, who you are, where you're from, what's going on in your life. Do you like my videos? What don't you like about my videos? Anything like that, I would appreciate any and all feedback. It just helps me grow and become the best content creator that I can become for you guys. Now, I understand that these, uh, these Firewatch videos can be a little bit long, and this isn't a game for everyone, so the, the statistics on this game, for me, at least channel-wise, haven't been as, as good as I would have liked them to have been, but this is more of a passion project, so I am okay with that. Hey. What is it? I filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that went missing a few weeks back. What? Why would you do that? I told you to say the minimum and just keep it vague. I know. And I didn't. I, I, I just didn't want to be hassled. And now... Someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. And I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. Mm. Oh, and those girls are still missing. Yep. Fuck, Delilah. Fuck, indeed. We really need to get to the bottom of this. Yeah, that's, uh, that's not good for anyone there. Should have, should have filed that report properly. Um, okay, so I need to hang, I need to hang a little bit of a left and go back, uh, I think this way? Is this the way I want to go? I think it is. Uh, can we squeeze through here? Block trail, clear this trail here. Oh, there we go, we got our axe. There we go, Henry, clean that trail up, my man. I forgot what the axe was called. They called it something specific, uh, earlier. Oh, that's right, we dropped down here. All right, let's go to our map here again. Oops. And pull this back up. Uh, okay, so I am heading in the wrong direction because we can't we can't go this way. We don't want to go this way. All right, let's head back this way. And uh, Jonesy Lake. So we probably want to keep heading this way past the the box here. So maybe it's this trail over here. All right, let's head this way for a few seconds and see if this is the correct way now to the Wapati Station. All right, if it is, I will make a jump here. All right, so we are kind of on our way back. So I will uh, jump cut here, and I will see you. What was that? Uh, I just heard something. What? What is it? I, I don't know. It was goddamn terrifying, though. Well, it could be an elk. Or Sounded like an elk. It could be someone trying to get you to radio about a loud noise so they know where you are. <sighs> what? Oh, come on, Delia. You can't be saying stuff like that. Oh, man. But talk about perfect timing there. Like, right as I was getting ready to jump, we heard that noise. Actually, I, I, I'm shaking over here, and I'm just sitting in my apartment with the lights on, and I'm scared. I don't know about you guys. Um, this tree looks kind of beat up, like an elk or something was scratching it. A bear, maybe? Yeah, that tree's awfully clawed up. Um, okay, let's, for Hank or Henry's sake, hopefully he's... Golly, I'm I'm shaking in my boots here, guys. Ugh. Okay, let's um let's go down our rope here. I'll get to the bottom of the rope here, and then if we need to make another jump, I'll make another jump here. Let's go ahead and repel. Okay, I, I probably should have looked to make sure there was nothing crazy at the bottom of the hill, but here we go. Whew. Okay, nervous system calming down a little bit here. All right, we're at the bottom of, what the, oh, that was my backpack. Whew, I thought that was someone for a second. All right, so I will jump, and unless there's something else that happens here as I, no? Okay, I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, there's a raccoon here. I thought I'd jump back in. I really didn't make it much farther than I did on that last time. So let's, uh, let's report this raccoon in. Um, there's a critter out here, a raccoon. I can't understand you. Because I'm whispering. 
All right, well, let's uh, let's go say hi to this raccoon. Hopefully we don't get rabies or anything. He, what's he trying to open? Bye there, little fella. Where are you going, friend? Come back. I just want to say hi. Where'd he go? Oh, poor little dude. Scared him off. Is he over here more? Eh, okay. Well, we saw a raccoon. I guess that's cool. I don't know. Um, anyways, on we go here. I will see you guys at the next uh, big thing that we need to see. All right, we're back here. We're coming up on the gate. We got our fire axe. We got a brand new radio. Let's uh, let's break on in here. Something's making a lot of noise. I like the music. What's this? Loose stone. Um, I don't know why there's some loose stones here. Can I throw them at anything? Yeah, well, I guess we can't throw very well. All right, so let's go ahead and call in. There's nobody around, and it's the quickest way in. Copy that. All right, open sesame here. <clears throat> Break that lock. I smashed open the gate. Should I try to fix or hide this? No, screw it. Okay then. Yeah, we're going in full force. All right, so let's see. Uh, let's open the lid here. We got ourselves a bee. Am I gonna get stung by a bee? Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's pick this up, and we're gonna go ahead and read that. Potty station personnel. If you're trying to reach Dr. Simmons, he is on site from August 15th through October 15th. University-owned equipment is the responsibility of Dr. Johnson. Government-owned equipment is under the purview of Cat uh, Ferdinand. Remember, this is a controlled area, and any issues, malfunctions, or violations should be reported immediately. So let's go ahead and close that here, and we will hang on to that, and then we're going to call in. Oh, we missed calling in our bee sting. Um, darn. Okay, so let's head on this way a little little bridge here we got to cross. We got to jump here. All right, let's go ahead and jump. Bada bing, bada boom. It is getting dark. We should have started this adventure much earlier in the day, but what do I know? We'll get our flashlight on. This music is very ominous, to say the least. If you guys haven't got your comments in down below, let me know what you think is going to happen here as we kind of slowly make our way into Wapati Station. God, I can feel all the hairs on the back of my neck standing up. I don't know about you guys. I am I am freaking out right now. As much as you can be while playing a video game. I know this isn't a horror game or anything, but man, talk about the suspense. Alright, we're working our way deeper in. I see is it like some glowing lights over here. What is all this? I wonder if that's that like spider webs? We got a tower with a little generator. Um let's go ahead and call that in. Okay. Sight. I don't see anybody around. Lucky for us. Yeah, lucky for us. E, there is some serious comms equipment out here, wireless stuff. What do you mean? I'm talking a big 20 foot tall transmission tower. I mean, they could probably listen to whoever the hell they want. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. Alright, so can we can we do anything here? Can we open the panel? No, we can't. Okay. Uh, we already called that in. Let's continue on here. God, look at like a, I'm assuming that's just spider webs on the ground, but that's uh, oof. getting the chills here, guys. Okay, is there anything over here? No. Okay, let's head back this way here. All right, and then more fence, more communication equipment. It looks like. God, I can. Oop, there's a tent. We got like some growing lanes or something. Really like growing pot out here. There's someone in there? Or are they digging something up? This looks like this looks like an archaeology grid. Yeah, they're doing something with the soil out here too. It's all gridded off. Uh, who knows what else they're up to? Okay, another monitoring tower. We can't do anything with this. It's beeping and booping at us. I mean there's all sorts of contraptions and shit out here. Like what? Out. Dishes and stuff on metal legs. There are wires all over the place. I don't know. I'm not really up on high tech. And hey, mind you, I think this is like late 80s. This equipment is not stuff from the hardware store. Can I call anything else then? No. Okay, let's let's go take a peek at the tent here. Let's start on the outside and work our way in. Can I open this crate? No. 
good music though. They're really building the suspense here. All right, what do we got out here? Just some empty boxes. Can we open any of these? Nope, I don't see any markings on them. There's a ladder. Can't do anything with that. Lots of food. Is there someone in the sleeping bag? Um, okay. I'm in their main tent. What's it like? It's definitely some sort of monitoring station. Yeah, no crap. Uh, leather belt looks heavy. Lantern. Let's go ahead and open this up. A wave receiver. Using your Anderson Wayfinder wave receiver with compass. Locates any strong signals. Green light. Target straight ahead. Distance light. And then tone. Sources. Let's go ahead and call this in. I think I found the thing they used to track us. Holy shit. You know, you swear, like, a lot. Not the time, Hank. Anyway, it's called a wave receiver. Looks like it picks up anything that emits a signal. It's got basic orienteering capabilities, everything. Holy. Holy shit, Henry. <laughs> yeah, holy shit. You're going to take it, right? Yeah, of course. Okay, we're going to go ahead and pick up our wave receiver here. Guessing we're going to track down the people that have been tracking us. Why is our vision getting a little fuzzy? Use end to wave receiver. Uh, okay, this thing is losing its mind, beeping like crazy. I can hear it. Wh what's it after? I don't know. I'm going to go find out. All right, let's explore the rest of the tent. We're going to go ahead and lower that for a second. Uh, we're going to pick up. Can we eat some of their peanut butter? No, we can't. Biff, the best type of peanut butter there is. Uh, pasta sauce. Let's go ahead and call the food in. I wonder where they are. All, all of their stuff is here. Figure out what that thing does and then get the hell out. Call the cot in. Why can't I call the cot in? Like it lets me do it, but not really. All right, cots. This place sleeps three. They've got a row of cots here. I want to know what that thing finds. Oh, this stuff over here. No, we got to look at everything. We're probably going to get punched in the back of the head again. Rags, little stove. I found their main monitoring desk. You should get out before they come back. No, earthquake monitor. Interesting. There's a box here with a dial. It has a needle, like it measures earthquakes. Where are they tracking? The lie detector. Yeah, I'm not sticking around to get hooked up to it. <laughs> um, we already called that in. Let's call on the bulletin board. Shit. Got a map here that confirms they're tracking my, our, people's movements. The map's got all sorts of paths and areas marked off on it. There are lines that look like some of the paths I normally take. Are you positive it's you? I'm not sure, but I think so. Okay, let's pick up this clipboard here. Let's examine this first. All right, subject, beacon, frequent, sex, social role, uh, departure from Two Forks area, point of behaviors, consult previous data. Desire for copulation, conflict of other males. Okay, disproportionate food intake. Wow. Um, that's not very nice. Okay, so there's a log here that tracks the movement of four distinct subjects. You and me? Uh, yeah, definitely me. And I suppose you too. What about the other two? Uh, let's go with the Maybe guy. The Goodwins? What if they were following them last summer? God, Henry, I don't know. If they were, there's no way Brian knew. He would have said something. Nah, I can't imagine a kid like that could have kept this under his hat. Talk this over and figure out how to get the hell out of here. Yeah, no crap. All right, let's go ahead and take that. Um, barometer? They're measuring the barometric pressure, too. Why? Maybe it's just a diversion. Uh, do we got any more equipment? Actually, this stuff looks like it just got lifted out of the space shuttle. I have to tell you, if I found out this was NASA, I'd be a hell of a lot happier. All right, so we called that in. Let's get our, oh, um. Yeah, I, I think this thing is responding to something in this pile of crap on the desk. Dig through it. Okay, here it comes. Black box. Subject Henry, whoa. That's our names on there. Delilah 43. Henry M. What is going on? We were highly manipulative. Are you kidding me? What? What is it? There's a folder of reports here. What do they say? They're assessments. 
about the two of us. There's stuff in here about Julia. Like what? Stuff I didn't tell you. This is... What, what does it say about me? You said there was one about me. And it looks like they've been following me around. What I do when I'm out hiking? Jesus! Henry, do you hear me? Do you have a boyfriend, Javier? What the fuck? Wish you hadn't left that out. <laughs> I don't. I, I didn't. This is insane. I'm so sick of letting these people do this to us. We should just burn the place down. Uh, yeah. yeah. Fuck them. Hell yeah, we're burning this place. Ocean of water on it, and these assholes will spend the rest of the summer picking up the pieces. We get to finish out our contracts. <laughs> Hell, we'll even call in the fire. Yeah, okay. You don't sound too excited about that. I'm not. Look, worst case scenario... A firefighter dies trying to put out what we started, and we live with that on our conscience for the rest of our lives. <sighs> case well maybe it's not the best idea yeah it's definitely not the best idea ah, so fucking wound up look it's all right i'm just gonna hike back we have the wave receiver and tomorrow we can figure out what to do okay let's take these reports here i want to read our report a little closer henry m 39 male uh looks like we've been observed for about 10 weeks now we are a comprehensive explorer, keeps to the path, prone to anger, but passive, guilty, forthright, and guarded. Uh, engaged supervisor, trust yet to be scientifically proven. All signs point towards full cooperation. Subject may be aware of tests. Woo. Suggests we disengage if subject decides to leave his post. We are a nine on the manipulation susceptibility scale okay we're gonna close that and we're gonna hang on to that let's grab delilah here and we'll read hers delilah 43 reliable considering alcoholism observant charismatic selfish skewed perception of personal history never married no kid rarely hikes or leaves immediate surroundings multi lovers despite longtime partner named javier low on the manipulation scale so let's go ahead and hang on to that as well and um okay let's let's get out of here yeah uh we're probably gonna get hit as we run out of the tent i don't i don't see anything we'll cross the soil grid here get ourselves a nice little jog i think we kept that black box i don't i don't know we're gonna let's let's just get out of here shall we wow okay comment on down below guys what's going on henry delilah eg we got we got something going on here that's not good. I, I don't care who you are or what you say, but the I'm getting the, the heebie-jeebies on this whole thing. <laughs> I still got the hair standing up on my legs, and it's like 75 outside my apartment, so I'm certainly not cold. All right, let's, um, let's cross this little stone here. Hopefully nothing grabs us as we jump. Oh, Henry, 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 get across. Um, oh, my God. Well, we broke the bridge. They're going to know we were here. Ignoring the fact that, oh, wait, what? No, we didn't light that fire. Did they? Uh, Henry? What? I think there is smoke coming from north of Jonesy Lake. That is suspiciously close to where you just were. Yeah. Do you see it? Uh. Jesus, okay, yeah, I see it. What the hell happened to you? It's definitely not the best idea. It wasn't me. <sighs> what do we do? Uh, call it in. Just call it in like any other fire. And what about who started it? What about them? Uh, the person who started it? Yeah. We're talking about people watching us out here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around us. I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Except get the hell out. Yes, get us the hell out of here. I will. Ooh. I, uh... Okay. Wow. Uh, so that was day 76. Um, what's that say? Who is listening to us? Okay. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to call that an episode. Day 76. We found out quite a bit, guys. I I don't know what's going on. Comment on down below. Let me. I think this is going to be, the, not this episode, but the next episode is going to be the last episode. So we got some big stuff coming up here on Tooth and Scrubs Gaming in Firewatch. Thank you so much for coming out and watching the video. I appreciate it. Appreciate you guys, all your likes, your views, your watch time, everything. Always leave a comment, 
like the video, subscribe to the channel so you get all this great content on time and in an orderly fashion, and I'll see you in the next Firewatch video.